How dare you? Francis Bourgeois wipes Meg's TikTok dream away by signing an exclusive contract with Wales. As two of the most senior members of the royal family, the Prince and Princess of Wales are used to meeting people from all walks of life. But today, the royal couple brushed shoulders with internet royalty when they filmed a hilarious video with TikTok star Francis Bourgeois. Ahead of the coronation, Prince William and Kate Middleton traveled from Acton to Tottenham Court Road on the Elizabeth Line to visit the Dog and Duck Pub in Soho. In an attempt to reach a younger audience, palace aides invited the train enthusiast who lives in Battersea, London and boasts over 2.9 million followers on TikTok to meet the royal couple at the end of their journey. The funny video of the 22-year-old social media star's encounter with Kate and William was released by Luke Nicholson, who goes by that name in real life. An informant claims that Francis Bourgeois turned down Meghan Markle's invitation to market the coffee Meghan invested in and instead negotiated an exclusive agreement with Wales to assist in promoting the image of the future monarchs on the TikTok platform. Prior to Harry's shocking memoir, Meghan Markle made her first public appearance in an Instagram video promoting her woke coffee company. The video was also published on the TikTok platform, one of the most well-known social media platforms at the moment. In a video posted on the Clever's Instagram, founder Hannah Mendoza discussed how the brand had grown and shared clips as Meghan Markle paid a visit to the company and drank one of the lattes. Meghan has been keeping an unusually low profile this year compared to her husband, who went on a whirlwind publicity tour for his memoir Spare in January. Meanwhile, the short clip opens with Luke walking through the newly refurbished Tottenham Court Road station wearing his trademark GoPro. He said, Have you ever found yourself at Tottenham Court Station wanting to go eastbound and the train you're wanting to go is ready to go? Well, me too, pretty much every time. The TikToker then proceeds to sprint through the station as footage shows a close-up of his face filmed using the fisheye lens or 360 cam. After making it onto the tube, just as the doors close, Luke grabs hold of the handrail before then collapsing into an empty seat. As he recovers from the sprint, the TikToker spots Kate and William getting ready to leave the tube. Before stepping off the train, Kate, dressed in a bespoke eponine coat and holding a white mulberry bag, goes to shake his hand. Beaming at Luke, Kate says, very nice to meet you. After also being greeted by Prince William, a starstruck Luke struggles to get his words out and simply says, hi, um, nice to meet you. I hope you enjoyed the Elizabeth line. Smiling at his wife, William says, We have. It's been good. Have a good day. See you later. Stunned by the royal interaction, Luke then says cheerio before collapsing in his seat again. Posting the clip on his social media accounts this evening, Luke jokingly captioned the video, The Elizabeth line sprint at Tottenham Court Road is quite enjoyable once you get used to it. On Instagram, Kate and William's official account replied with a waving emoji and wrote, Nice to see you. Since it was uploaded this evening, Luke's video has amassed over 19,000 likes on TikTok and a further 23,000 likes on Instagram. Luke went viral on TikTok in 2021 when he was still a mechanical engineering student at Nottingham University and began sharing clips of himself traveling around the country to spot his favorite trains. It was the couple's first trip on the Elizabeth Line, which the late Queen Elizabeth opened almost a year ago on May 17, 2022. Royal aides said the couple do occasionally travel by tube in a private capacity. What's the feedback you've been getting since it opened? William asked. Everyone loves it, TFL worker Mr. Grinley told him, explaining how it had made many journeys across London shorter and easier. You know, how green we are now, asked William, laughing. You know, I've got to ask that question.